Hey guys, this is Carrie Tatsu and I am currently a cat and I'm going to show you how to set up your Zuby Animesh crib furniture kit. Now this is basically for people who want to model their own cribs or they buy another crib on Marketplace that's open permission. This will allow your Zuby Animesh baby and newborn to essentially work in any crib or even a playpen. So this is the box it comes in. You left click the box and it opens. You click accept and then you right click more and delete the box. You open your inventory and you find the folder called Zuby Animesh Crib Furniture Kit. You open that and you res the object name Zuby Animesh Crib Mesh and Mat. Left click that, copy to inventory, close these out. Right click more delete Res Zuby Animesh Crib Scripts. Left click that, copy to inventory, right click more, delete. Okay, so now we have what we need and open the folder called Zuby Animesh Crib Mesh and Mat and you res the Zuby Animesh Crib Mesh. Now this is a crib that I'm giving to you for free. Well, it is included in the kit, but um, essentially this is used as a demo so you can model your own or buy one for Marketplace or use essentially any open permission crib you like. So the first thing you want to make sure is that this crib is set to the rotation of zero, zero, zero. You want to make sure that whatever crib you have, the rotation must be zero, zero, zero. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the folder called Zuby Animesh Crib Scripts. Right click, go into the content of the crib and you drag everything except not the licensing script yet. There's a, a script called Creator Licensing and hold off on that at first. So take these, drag them inside the crib. Okay, next what you're gonna do is you're going to drag out an object called Zuby Animesh Baby Crib Dev Kit and then another one called Zuby Animesh Newborn Crib Dev Kit. Now, these are essentially the models that are used to set up your newborn and baby positions inside the crib. So next, you right-click Edit, and now drag your Zuby Creator licensing script inside the crib. The crib. Okay, great. It says License Applied Successfully. Excellent. So make sure the crib is not going through the floor and it's not floating above the floor. That's perfect. Make sure it's 000. zero, zero. Move your newborn out of the way for now. Okay, what you want to do now is left click and click left click on the baby model and click next anim to get your baby in a seated pose. And then right click, have your baby either face the crib or face away. Just make sure that the baby is not going through the floor but not above the floor. So remember the avatar is going to be standing over here so you don't really want to position your baby in the center of the crib. Okay, click the baby, click set entry. It says baby entry position set. Okay, cool. Now hit ignore. Now what you want to do is click the baby, next anim, next anim, and get the baby into a laying position rotate your baby. I like having the head on the left side. So move your baby up and fit your baby inside the crib. And again, let's hit ignore for now. Make sure the baby is not clipping. You don't want your baby to sink inside, so give it some room. That's pretty good. Okay click it and then click set action and that set action means the position of your baby inside the crib and then click done. Okay, the next thing you do is right click move your baby out of the crib and move your newborn into the crib. You have to do both the newborn and the baby separately. So the newborn's head should always be in this direction facing the left of the crib. Make sure your newborn isn't too low or not clipping.
Okay, so now the newborn is in the crib. Make sure the newborn's kind of centered. Now left click the newborn, click set action. The newborn doesn't have a set entry point, just set action. And then click done. It says newborn action position set and then click done. And now that's pretty much it. Now it tells you you need to remove the install um, licensing script. So let's move your newborn out of the way. Right click edit the crib and delete this script. It's called Zuby Creator Licensing, delete that. That's it, your crib is pretty much ready. So what you want to do is get these out of the way. Let's res a baby and a newborn. Here's a baby. Can move the crib. Let's get a newborn. There's a newborn. Okay. Now, imagine this is a final crib. You can add your own texture script so people have the option to swap out textures. You can add your own update script so if there's an update, people can update your crib. You click it, call a sign, let's call the baby. There we go. So here we go. She goes to the crib, sits in front of it. Awesome, she's in the crib, left click. We can have her lie down. We can have her sleep. We can have her sit. Fantastic, we can have her leave. Now let's call the newborn. Okay, now the newborn has been assigned. and the newborn is now in the crib. Another thing that I like to do is I like to make my crib phantom. I know the baby just crawled through it, but it's something I like to do so um, Animesh products don't get stuck. The baby would actually crawl around it, but sometimes it's easier if you just leave something phantom. So I, I do that with um, the furniture. It's That's a personal choice. Anyway, that's it. That's all you do. Uh, the scripts in here are only no modify, so you could sell your crib with any permissions you like, and you can sell an infinite amount forever. All right, thanks guys, bye-bye.